Most of us eat every day, some of us too much, because yesterday's food is not enough to supply energy for today's needs. Why then do some of us expect yesterday's portion of heavenly manna, the Word of God, to keep us through today's challenges? On this program, we are going to change all of that. Let's experience God's words today and receive the power we need to live healthy, vibrant lives. Welcome to your daily portion with your host, author, speaker, L. David Harris. It is Sabbath, April 27. I almost got that date mixed up. April 27, 2019. Hello, my name is L. David Harris. I am your host, and this is your daily portion where we give you God's word in just 10 minutes or your money back. And I am delighted to be able to share with you one more time. This time we are beginning our lesson study uh, number five with the title, Wise Words for Families. Wise Words for Families. I can remember when I was growing up, the teachers used to always say, uh, word to the wise is sufficient. And then some of them would use a word that I don't want to repeat here that was like, some long word with the letter beginning in the letter S, you know, so wise words for families, a wise word to you should be sufficient. All right. So hopefully we are paying keen attention. First, I'd like to welcome everybody uh, joining us for the very first time. And it would be wonderful if this is your first time. It's the Sabbath and it's your first time. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us. And I'd like to say thanks to those who join us every single day day in and day out, as much as you have the opportunity to, as the Lord gives you strength. Thank you for that, because without you, we would have no program. It wouldn't make sense to have a program if you weren't here. So thank you for joining us. And I'm asking you to go ahead and click that share button so more people can enjoy a quick Bible class every morning to get their day jump started. So please find a creative way if you are listening on the radio or on a podcast or whatever the case, and uh, let people know that the Word of God is being shared every single day. Let's go ahead and pray and get started. Father in heaven, thank you for giving us a new morning. Thank you for giving us your love. Thank you for giving us your spirit, and I'm asking you to give us the fullness of his influence and power so we can live our lives according to your will in these last days. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen again. Uh, again, today's topic, wise words for families. And the lesson writer first identifies Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 as a jump off point, which says, or which reads, trust in the Lord with all, and I underscored all, your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Are you acknowledging God in all of your ways? Hmm? Are you giving him the opportunity to speak to you and say, this is the way, walk ye in it, or have you closed the door to his voice? I hope you're not one who has closed the door to his voice. I hope that you've thrown open your life and said, yes, Lord, I wanna hear everything you have to say. Well, this lesson writer, uh, has given us uh, several points to consider for this week. Uh, it opens up with love the right woman. And I wrote that word right in all caps. Love the right woman. I won't go into it. We'll go into it, Lord Sparing Life, tomorrow. And then uh, they continue with a call to fathers. And I can remember a lot of good counsel just from you know, the times that I used to spend a lot of time or invest a lot of time in the book of Proverbs. And it's like, it reads almost like a letter, uh, really a wise and intelligent letter, but it reads largely like, largely like a letter from a man to his son. Very interesting. And I can think of some things that actually helped me many years ago as though a good father were helping me directly. And then it's uh, also going to identify in this week's lesson, a correction with love. Correction underscore with love. There are persons who try to correct our children, try to correct things maybe at work, but it's not done with love. Yeah, so we're going to have the Holy Spirit to show us what it's like to give 
uh, the, the right kind of discipline. Also, life better on the rooftop. And I can tell you that I know a man who literally, or almost literally, set up a way to live apart from his wife. Apart from his wife, way up in the upper corner from his wife in her room. Now it's her room. And he's way up in the corner, away from her, because he literally believes that it's better on a rooftop to live with a cantankerous woman. Yeah. And so I guess, brethren, we need to learn how to be uh, faithful so we uh, can learn how to receive the love of a good wife, right? Love that right woman. That's what the lesson writer will give us tomorrow. But anyway, just a few points there. The lesson writer penned these words, whatever phase of life you are in now, we all, of course, started out with a mother and a father. Regardless of the kind of relationship, if any at all, that we that we had with them after our birth. On the other hand, some people, whether other than, excuse me, having siblings or other relatives, never have a family of their own, other than the one they grew up in. Whatever our situation, whatever our phase of life, the book of Proverbs contains a combination of instructions, of poems, because of course we all learn differently, questions and wise sayings. Family relationships are directly addressed, and other words of wisdom can be applied to the home. Proverbs is, in fact, uh, cast as a family document in which keys to a godly life are handed down from parent to child. That's what I gathered as well. Just as parents might write a letter of advice to a son or a daughter going to college, setting up their separate dwelling, or taking a job away from home, so Proverbs is addressed from father to son. And here's an example. My son, in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8, Hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. See, this is wise. The Bible says that we are to honor our parents that our days may be long upon the land which the Lord our God giveth us. And uh, continuing, Deuteronomy directed parents to share their convictions with the next generation. This is what Proverbs does. And the father summons, we hear the voice of our heavenly father calling us to learn. And so this week we are going to, going to have a wonderful time, a wonderful time. And I can remember when I first uh, got baptized, we were going through the st uh, a study like this one, but through the book of Proverbs, the whole 13 weeks. And I remember in Proverbs chapter two, where it talks about how we should cry out uh, to wisdom as for silver and search for her as for hidden treasure. And then we will know the power of God. I can remember other places where it says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise, uh, the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. And of course, the, the corresponding verse that says that the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so the book of Proverbs should be an encouragement to all of us, especially as we grow our families. I can remember as a person preparing for marriage, where the Bible says that, that a man who findeth a wife findeth a good thing and has favor from God. Did you notice it said finding a wife? So God prepares a woman or a godly woman, prepares her, gives her those wifely uh, qualities that he has ordained. And by the time a man who has the husbandly qualities that he has ordained has found this woman led by the Holy Spirit, he, what he's finding is a wife because she is already prepared to be a wife until Jesus comes. So I'm thankful that we can rely on God to give us so many words of wisdom. And as the Lord gives us strength, we will unpack those little by little for uh, next week, meaning beginning tomorrow. So thank you for joining us. As always, I hope you have a wonderful Sabbath and Lord sparing life. We'll see you again in the morning. Thanks for joining Peace. us, listening friends. Always remember, we cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This has been your daily portion with L. David Harris. Make it a great day.